really organized. I don't know why the fuck I'm finna cry, but it's, it's just a lot. It's a lot. Turn around to your face, boo boo. <laughs> hey, boo boo. Can you? What? 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 Thank you. What okay. can you? <laughs> Kai, you ain't got to run, baby. Kai, don't run. Get out the street, hurry up. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video, another day in the life. Well, this ain't a day in the life. This is gonna be like a weekend vlog. Cause I started vlogging yesterday, as you guys can see, it's a whole new day. Um, and um, yeah. Right now we just dropped the girls off at dance practice. As y'all just seen them going the door. And now we finna go what to the beach plus store? Oh, uh, to the meat store first. Go to the meat store because she wants to cook. When are you cooking tomorrow? Yeah. Girl. You finna rub the curve? Mm -hmm. Child on me. Let me put my seatbelt on. No, that ain't what happened. Yeah, we finna go right to the meat store and then. Check the door back there. Go to the beauty supply store. The door's open. It's that one right there. Tell me what it is. Ooh. 
And then these pastels to get her to get it over here, blow dryer, and then child, hopefully back home. I'm tired. You have to do my finger wave when I'm home. Um, I'm going back home and getting in bed. So I can do my finger wave. Happy. We finna record that podcast, actually. Girl, I don't know who she thinks she be talking to. This is her. This is her. Uh, Look, I left the mic. This ain't your hand. I don't know. I like to go. This is her to do list. You've been no way to come. Nah, man. You wanna do it? Ain't no serious to her. She, she ain't serious yeah. about her podcast. Cause if she was, then she then wouldn't left the mic. Like, she wouldn't left the mic. Like, like I, I was rushing. Like, I knew I needed to vlog, so I didn't leave my camera. But yeah, they all, that's all I'm up to. I ain't talk out here, though. Look, uh, I miss. But you said we don't need it if I use the phone to record the video so I can post the YouTube video, too. Decent. But for your audio to be kind of to be crisp, it'd be better for you to record the audio part with the mic. Ah, that's some shit. Um, yeah, that's all that's going on. We ain't got, I ain't got much going on. So yeah, hopefully, my little sister wanted to go to um main event tonight, but I don't think that's gonna happen. I'm sad. Mm -hmm. You might have to postpone it to tomorrow. But whatever we do, y'all see it, so that's it. I ain't gonna nothing to say. Y'all just got done posting the, uh, mm, doing a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> She's so fat. <laughs> she is so fat. <laughs> that's all fudgy. Anybody had no gate? <laughs> Um, I just gotta finish recording a podcast with my I sister for her podcast, her new podcast called What's Called Give Her. I don't know why I want to say Feel Her. Hey, you said you bought her one. No, we bought that big Kyra, one. ain't it called Dear Her? I only, yeah, only one small Oh, I thought one. you said we bought a one for dad and then we, talk, bought, we bought our own slices of chocolate. Mm -hmm. I bought, that is delicious. Kyra. I took Spanish one and Spanish two and I only remember one word. <laughs> Delicioso. And I don't remember one word. And that one <laughs> word is <laughs> Delicioso. Delicioso. <laughs> we just got done recording her her first her very first podcast. Her podcast is called Dear Her. You want anchor? Close the prison. And she on YouTube, so to either watch her podcast on YouTube, you the channel's Apple. called what? You're going to drop the link below. Girl, the channel's, up. your channel on YouTube's called, it's called <coughs> Dear Her on I'm YouTube, and then on Anchor is Dear Her, but I'll put the, podcast so I can share it on. I'll put the link to the, the, um, for you just to listen to it in the description box below, so y'all be on the lookout for that, because so I was the first was guest for her very first podcast, and I feel so honored. Okay. This one. And it was a good one. I talked a whole lot because my sister was pretty much getting my point of view on it because she felt like that I was at the place to. Oh, you were her first. You was her first guest. I was her first guest. For sure. I, she felt like I was out at the place to talk about that topic. So yeah, y'all go check it out because it's a real good one. I'm gonna leave the link to her YouTube channel so if y'all wanna watch the podcast and the link to the, to the um just the audio version of it if y'all just wanna listen down below so y'all don't forget Delicious. to go check her out after i get done watching Delicious. this video so and i was on it like this because you girlfriend what does that mean good tastes good What's up? kyra delicious food oh. kyra mm -hmm. kyra mm -hmm. y'all bye you ready for dance practice yes put your shirt down <laughs> you want to show them your 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 shorts your new shorts yes. Go get some lotion, your leg, girl. Your legs is ashy, child. <sighs> it is cold. It's all H E L L. I said, well, hell ain't even cold. Hell is hot. I assume, but um. Today is Sunday, and I look a mess as usual. Uh, I have an excuse for that though. But today is Sunday, March the 12th, I think. 
March the 13th and I'm getting ready to leave, pull out from this gas station. Cause I'm running late as usual. Everything crusty. My fingers crusty. Need lotion. My lips is crusty. But whatever. I am um, running late. I'm supposed to be. Well, not supposed to be because I'm not. I knew that's gonna happen. Well, not supposed to be because I'm going. Dang, girl, you turned all of my lane. I'm on my way to Pulaski. Y'all can't even see me. Pulaski, Tennessee. To do um my little sister best friend. I call her my I call her my, my little sister as well. Cause she literally been around the family for forever. Um they both pregnant and they best friend. They pregnant at the same time. Um, but today is uh, a maternity shoot, so she asked me if I could come and do her makeup and touch up her hair. I did her actual, I did her hair on Friday. I did her sewing. Um, so hopefully all I got to do was touch up a few curl, touch up a few curls, and. That's it, throw some makeup on her. Not throw no makeup on her face. Y'all know what I mean. Like, hurry up. And put some makeup on her face. I really don't want to hold this camera. Hurry up, put some makeup on her face. And I'm going to be back on the road to come back home. <sighs> Y'all, I always stretch myself. Hold on real quick. Hold on. Okay, I had to make sure I was going the right way. Which I knew I was, but... I don't go nowhere without my GPS. Um, I forgot what I was talking about. Yeah, I'm on my way to go do her makeup or whatever. I told y'all that, but as soon as I get done, I'm getting back on the road. I feel like I am the, let me pretend I feel like, I know I am. The go-to person and just the, uh, even though I'm always late, <laughs> People still depend on me <laughs> and trust me to um, make it to things and to get to things um, to help them out so they know I'm always late. But I, um, I'm just a person that might call on for everything. Like, out of all people. For one, she stayed 45 minutes away. It's 50 minutes away. And then, I'm using my sister's car to get there. And she know I don't have my own car at the moment. But she still proceeded to ask me, opposed to finding somebody in Pulaski. But, I'm grateful for that. I'm not complaining. Not even a little bit. Because, I just, I, I just have accepted that that's just who I am. And that's just the world that I that's just part of my purpose and the role that I was meant to, that I'm meant to play in people's lives who's attached to me. Um, but yeah, that's where I'm going. Let me stop rambling. Um, I probably won't talk to y'all when I get there, but I probably, I don't know. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll show you guys how she looks when she get her clothes on before I leave. Um, my camera's gonna die, so yeah. Y'all, I look a hot mess. I can't even believe that. No, I can't believe I'm on camera like this, but it's not my fault. But I just got done doing her, touching up her hair and doing her makeup. She was so cute. Um, so, so, so cute. She really don't wear makeup, for real. She'll put on some lashes and that's it, for real. <laughs> but she only wear like lip gloss. She be wearing like Bliss Tex and Carmex and stuff. She's she's a she's not a tomboy, but she's not a girly girl. She's somewhere in between. But she was so cute. She looks so dolled up like a little baby doll. But anywho, I'm just getting back on the road, driving back, and my head is banging me. Um, 
made the kids breakfast, trying them um the new pancake mix that was in my grocery haul. Y'all ain't watch it, go watch it so you can see where I got them from and what kind of pancake mix it is. You can tell you can tell what kind of pancake mix it is by the toppings that's on the top of them, but it's their first time for the tribe. We're gonna see how they like it. Be careful, right? That's where it just takes me in. I feel like how I felt when I got my knee. I didn't show you about this. Why? <laughs> I didn't show you about this. Ah! Okay, so now you finna sit down. I didn't show you about this. No, come here. Come here. Come here. Wait, so now you're about to sit down. Wait, so I try to stop me. I been not show you about that. Kenyon, please. Don't do that again. He gonna keep going. That's my uh, that's my child that um, he's still, he's still gonna try to say it. That's my child that requires a little bit more uh, attention. Okay, my butt out. Mm -hmm. I got some little bags left. Like they only had two bags of these left. And Amy only had six bags of the little ones left, so they can get two pieces. Ooh, and it's a good bag. Y'all look at here. Let me see. Ooh. I ain't even supposed to have these chips, but I'm cutting meat again tomorrow, so I'm gonna eat what I want for now. This is a good bag right here. Y'all look too. <laughs> Y'all see that? <laughs> Wait, first of all. He played for two seconds and come back like he wants snacks. <laughs> first off, why grab a bag of flame of hot and some sugar free candy? <laughs> I cracked myself up. Come on, Kenya. <laughs> <laughs> Hop up there. Hop. <laughs> I can't get on it. Oh. Why y'all laughing? Help! Come on. Can you stop? You not pregnant. Can you have this? Woo! 
<laughs> we almost farted. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Still denied her. Almost can you? Almost. <laughs> Wait. You gotta start from a little bit lower. A little bit lower. Down there. Come on, can I get, can I get in front of it? Right in front of it. Scoot over. Now start a little bit lower, can you? <laughs> okay, wait, no can you not she not low enough. Go down. Down. Now you stand up, Janaya. Down a little bit more. Go. Ooh. <laughs> not quite. Alright, that's <laughs> you too big. Stop playing, Kayla. It's on there. Kayla. This girl pregnant. On the dangle thing. Let her go, can you? She can do it. Can you reach it? No. Uh uh. Uh oh. Took my arm. Go, go, go. <laughs> Alright, now try to go. Ooh, look at my spider monkey. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. You got it. Come on, honey bun. You got it. Come on, girl. You got it. Come on, go. Go. You gotta keep moving. You gotta keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Go. 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 Good job, Naya. All right, come on. Who gonna go next? Kaya or Kenya? Go, Kaya. Come on. Come on, Kaya. You got it. Kaya, keep moving. Kaya, keep moving. Kaya, keep moving. Kaya, keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving, keep moving. <laughs> keep moving. <laughs> get it, girl. Get it, girl. Told you, Kai, you can do it. Good job. Now, let come on, big boy. Come on. <laughs> Go, Kenya. Go, Kenya, Kenya, Kenya. Don't. <laughs> Kenya, stop going, Kenya. Don't scream. Don't let the girls out beat you, Kenya. Kenya. Don't let the girls out beat you. Come on, girl. Why you the Shh. Come on, girl. We're going to go back and get her. Mommy. Yeah, baby. Are you swimming, baby? Let me get her. Let me get her. Kelly, pick her up. I wear my two fears. Go. You can do it. You're a boy. Go. I can do it. I wear my two fears. Why? Why? Daddy, <laughs> Daddy told me who taught you to put your phone up. Pull up. Pull up. My mom. We nanny, back. My daddy told me. My daddy told me who taught ah. you to put your phone up to TVs. Okay. And I told her, don't buy it. I just taught myself. Kind of ghetto, but manage your business. We back from the park. Me and Kayla just ran to the store. We've been back in the park. We back from the hood. Kenya, stop <laughs> saying crazy stuff. Why? We never went to no hood. Move back. Move back. Move back. Move. Cause you put the irritate me. We back from the hood. Pregnant lady yelling. But we back we've been back in the park, man. Kayla dropped them off at home. Oh. My little sister and went to Walmart to ah. escape the children. Did I say give me sweet potatoes? I ain't make your food yet. We talk to you like that. We um yeah. warming up food. We eat leftovers tonight. I ain't trying to say my sister Kyra cooked basically Thanksgiving food. She cooked. Only thing she didn't cook was a turkey child. She cooked um some other chicken, dressing, macaroni and cheese, greens, and sweet potatoes. So we eat leftovers. Now for the make Kenya some. Kenya pause it. Now I'm gonna um, warm King up some and myself. Kimmy, oh, I heard she put her foot. Give me a spoon. Like her. 
I cut her whole foot, like the entire foot. She put it inside these grains. She put it in these grains, I can tell you that much. But um, this might be the end of this vlog today, I think. Um, what the heck to y'all? Um, oh, by the time y'all watching this vlog, the pantry organization should already be up. So, if you ain't seen it, click out of this and go watch it. Alright? Okay, alright. Y'all, I'm sitting in the car. Am I going anywhere? No, I'm not. Let me turn this down so y'all can hear me. My sister got these loud exhausts, whatever, whatever you want to call them, on her car. I don't know who she thinks she is, but you probably can't hear it. Just never mind it. I'm in the car, eating my food, and I'm about to do a voiceover for a video that supposed to be up earlier today but of course um i need to get better at this it's 7 20. i saw i already edited it i didn't do the voiceover for it um i need to get better at prioritizing and getting my work done before i leave the house or do anything else but um i'm sitting in the car because just a moment of transparency transparency living with other people can be a bit challenging at times you don't get no alone time it's it's always noisy um my kids get real amped they, they are very amped and animated overly animated when there's other people around if i was in my own place which is coming soon it's coming really really soon they know how to sit and be chill but They always up and energized because it's always somebody over here. Um, and yeah, the only way I can get some peace and quiet is just to come to the car. I decided to eat in the car as well because I just want to eat in silence. But my sister just came over here, my older sister, to get a sewing done. Y'all, I don't know if it's just the push in a different direction, like career-wise. Uh, just even more of a sign of that or what it is. But I really, I enjoy, I start, to, I start to somewhat be okay with it in the middle of me doing hair. Like in the middle of the style once it's almost finished. And then seeing the finishing product, you know, just being able to see it transform from that to, you know, amazing. But... The thought of doing hair just drains me. Like, I literally used to find so much peace in it. It used to be a getaway for me. But it drains me now. I don't know if it's because I tell myself that. But I don't even feel like I tell myself that. The feeling tells me that. It literally drains me. Like, I really don't enjoy it nowhere near as much as I used to. Now, every once in a while, I might get an urge to do something to some hair, like curl it or flat iron it or um, put my wig on my wig on and do baby hairs and stuff, but it really drains the life out of me. It just drains me. Like, I just don't enjoy it. But my sisters and my mama and people that's close to me just won't let me live. When it comes to me choosing not to do hair, I, I I mean, I, I accept it, but yeah, hopefully, you know, later on down the line, it starts to like get out of the system that, you know, the hairstylist Kendra starts to like ooze out of their system. <laughs> hopefully one day they'll just let it go, but it's not today, obviously. So when I get done doing this voiceover, I'm finna go anyhow. And do my sister a sewing. And then, y'all, yeah, I'm just sitting in the car renting. And then sit down for the rest of the night. Probably watch the show, Sisters. Um, what else I'm feeling, y'all? Today has just been an off day for me. I, I had a dream last night. I'm not going to 
talk about the dream just yet, but it wasn't a bad dream, but it was like more of a um, realization dream, a dream that like just brought confirmation to me about something, a situation, a thing, a person, whatever. And um, I don't know if it's just the fact that I had the dream and I've been looking for confirmation about this situation for so long and the dream pretty much answered like gave me a, even more of a reason like it it basically attached attached to my answer even more and i don't know if it was that or what but i just woke up feeling very agitated this morning and i could i just ain't been able to shake it which is why i'm sitting eating in the car like any other time i would have and I came out here until it was time for me to do the voiceover, rush and did the voiceover, start uploading the video, and went back into the house. But I'm out here because I just really, I don't know, something just, everything just been bothering me and agitating me today. And I don't know. And it's definitely okay to have these days. I don't feel bad for feeling like this. Here come my sister. I don't feel bad for feeling like this, but. Where the comb at? My purple book bag. In the front. <laughs> Y'all see what I'm talking about? <laughs> oh, I don't feel bad for feeling like this. It, it, it happens. It happens to the best of us. If you are going through anything in life, and wait a minute, and that's not not talk about just being a mom, just being a mom 24 eight. It literally don't stop. My children are the greatest thing that has ever happened to me in life. I know a lot of people say that, and a lot of women say that, but if you are able to bear children and have them and keep them in your possession and raise them, you know how true that sin is. My children are literally the greatest thing that ever happened to me in life. And I enjoy every bit of them. It's just the fact that when I'm feeling like this, sometimes I feel like that I should not feel like that. I don't have time to feel away. I don't have the time to really organized i don't know why i feel like i'm gonna cry but i'm just really feeling off today i feel like i don't have the time to really feel like being like feel feel my emotions and like release them and organize my my thoughts i i really feel like i've never had that time especially with other life circumstances and then just living with other people not really having your own space it's just a lot it's a lot it's a whole lot but i'm living and i'm 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 breathing i want for nothing i have a roof over my head no matter who roof it is i have a roof over my head have somewhere safe to sleep me and my babies and it's nothing wrong with having these days when i was trying to get to before I went into the kid rent, being a mom rent. It's really nothing wrong with having these days. Do not beat yourself up for feeling away. Do not beat yourself up for not being jolly mom or being organized mom or being organized dad or being the Miss Perfect Pants that social media or these a lot of a lot of the movies or a lot of people would like to push on you don't penalize yourself for feeling for being human do not the more you hold it in and the more you tell yourself that you're not allowed to feel away you're not allowed to have a day that's not so bright um and the more you hold it in the bigger the 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 outburst is going to be when it finally come out so just Pull yourself away for a second. You have to come sit in the car like I'm doing and let it out. You got to go in the pantry, the bathroom, the laundry room. Doesn't matter. Find a spot and let it out. I'm done talking y'all ears off. I guess that was the whole point of me turning on this video to motivate somebody because of my current circumstances. 
in my life where I'm at right now. Do not be afraid to be human. We all have emotions. And at some point, you don't want to live in your emotions. You don't want to dwell on them for too long. But at some point, you have to learn how to release them so you can move forward. You can move past them. And work on something new. Opposed to staying and living in those emotions. Oh, that don't feel so good. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm going to go ahead and do this voiceover. So, I can get this video up because it's already 7.30. And then yeah enjoy the rest of my night hopefully you guys uh well pull try to pull myself out of my funk and enjoy the rest of my night um hopefully you guys are having a wonderful night or day whenever you are watching this and i thank you guys so much for spending a party all day choosing to spend a party all day watching me um it's it's so special to me and uh there's plenty of other people on this earth that's doing youtube or making videos elsewhere that you guys can be watching but you choose to watch me and i'm so grateful and so honored thank you so 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 much and i will talk to you guys in the next video